Hello everybody, Natalia here, and today I'm going to talk about the research that I did for my new novel, Way of Spears. When I first started writing novels, I tried to research everything. I wanted to make sure that all of my information was factual and that I got everything right. But the more writing I've been doing, the more I've started to loosen up. Instead of worrying so much about facts and evidence, I just write what I want to. However, for Way of Spears, I did want to do a little bit of field research, I guess I'll call it. The characters in my novel uh, use lots of primitive weapons, such as spears, hence the title, uh, swords, daggers, and bow and arrow. Now, I have been interested in archery for a long time, and for my birthday, which was in January, I decided to ask my dad to start learning archery with me. I wanted to learn archery not only because I was interested in it as a sport, but also because I wanted to be able to write about archery and shooting a bow and arrow and Un really understand the the sport of it for my novel. My dad and I started shooting together and then eventually once I really got into it he actually bought me my own bow which I'm really excited to show you today. Ta-da! Alright this is my bow. Um, this is called a recurve bow because you can see here these are called the limbs and you can see how it kind of recurves. Beautiful. So you can see everything is black here. I got to choose the colors for all of this. And my dad thought I was like morbid for choosing black for everything, but I love black and I really think that it goes well with the dark wood. So you can see that this is where the arrow sits. You knock the arrow here, and then you can shoot with either one finger, if the arrow is here, you could shoot with one finger above and two below, um, but I'm more comfortable shooting with three below, so that's why this is where my little like finger pads are. Every bow has to be measured out to the person that is shooting it. So mine is 62 inches because of my height and my arm span, and the draw weight is 30 pounds. So depending on what you're using your bow for and how much upper body strength you have, that's going to affect the draw weight of this. I am not doing any hunting with my bow. Uh, it's simply for recreational purposes. So I didn't need a super heavy draw weight. Um, for a recurve bow, I believe if you're going to be doing hunting with it, it needs to be 40 pounds or heavier, but I'm not positive. Um, you know, I've, I've just recently gotten into this sport within the past couple of months, so I don't know everything about it yet, uh, but I am having a lot of fun with it and once I started shooting, I was really able to write all of the archery scenes in my book so much better because I understood how it works. Um, I understood how it, you know, how you have to hold it and how it feels to draw back. Like, because I understand all of this now, I was just able to write it so much more realistically. You can see that when I pull this back, I don't want... I don't want like a chicken wing arm up in the air, so you don't want this. But what you want is a nice straight line. Um, sometimes I still kind of struggle with this. Uh, my arm has a tendency to pop up a little bit, but I'll show you a little bit better this time now. As straight back as you can kind of get it. I'm sitting down, so this is kind of awkward to be pulling this here because it doesn't really fit. So I just wanted to show you this. I'm really proud of this. Um, and I also, I was out shooting this morning, so I took some clips of that to show you, and I am going to insert those next. Uh, but for anybody that's working on a novel or, or a story right now, if you are worried about the authenticity in it, I would definitely recommend going out and trying the things that you're writing about. And I know that this isn't always possible, and it's not always easy, and sometimes it costs money. Buying this definitely was not cheap. Um, so thankfully it was my birthday, so I got it as a gift. Um, but if, you know, there's that rule to writing that write what you know, and 
while I while I don't agree with that rule, I think if we only wrote what we knew, literature would be really boring. <laughs> um, I do think that there's something to be said about going out there in the world and just experiencing a lot of different things and experiencing what you're putting your characters through so that you can understand them better. And now that I'm all done showing you my beautiful recurve bow, I'm going to insert those uh, videos of me practicing this morning. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.